Hey man. Yep. Self improvement made me a weirdo. Let me take you back when I first started doing self improvement. When I first started meditating, it was about two or three years ago. After that, I quit smoking. I quit smoking weed. I quit drinking alcohol. And I diss my friends that were still smoking weed, still smoking, still drinking. And I started eating ultra healthy, which is good, of course. And in fact, I started to become a weirdo. I thought that enjoying life was being insanely good at those habits. I thought that enjoying life was impossible to do with other people that weren't on self-improvement. In fact, I looked weird at other people that weren't on self-improvement. I looked weird at people that didn't take a cold shower, that didn't eat as healthy as I did, that weren't meditating. All of these things. And in fact, I became a weirdo. And you could say maybe you have to become a weirdo in order to be successful, get successful. But I think this is unhealthy. I think this is the unhealthy weirdo. So you have a weirdo that's obsessed with maybe plants. That's obsessed with books about, I don't know, Roman Empire, right? These type of weirdos are healthy because... They are weird in their own interests. But these interests, they weren't really interests, they were habits. Habits that were not really mine. In fact, they were just, well, something that I saw online. Something that I saw in videos, that I read in books. These weren't things that genuinely interested me. These were things that I just followed because someone online said that it will be better for me and a lot of these things they are good for me i know now a lot of these things they are getting the best out of myself but a lot of these things also aren't i took it too far self-improvement i thought of everyone as a weirdo but me and in fact, I became the weirdo. I became the guy that was in fact so autistic about everything. I remember when I went to a meetup with one other guy and he wouldn't eat anything. Why? Because it wasn't organic. He wouldn't eat a fucking meal. You would just sit there and stare at other people eating. Because the food wasn't organic. And I love organic. I think it should be normal food. Because it is normal food. In fact, it's without fucking poison sprayed on it. But I'm not going to sit here and act like an artist when it comes to those things. I prefer that. But at one point... You have to realize that certain things you overreact in. Certain things you're taking too far. Like not eating when it's not organic. Or being fucking mad at yourself because you skipped a day of meditation. These things are normal. These things happen, you know. If you want to live a happy, healthy life. If you want to have a happy, healthy mind, you can't be mad at yourself if you skip the day of meditation because you'd rather eat with your family or something. You got to be realistic. Stop being an artist on these things. You're a fucking artist, man. And I was too. I realized that the things that gives you joy in life is doing fun stuff with other people. Sharing happy moments. And I still go and cold shower every day. If I can. I still meditate every day. But And I still eat organic either. But 
I'm not as artistic anymore. I'm not this artistic guy that has to have it. Otherwise, it will fucking be mad at itself. Otherwise, it will be unhappy. Start living. Stop trying to focus on all these habits. Because once you know them, just do them. And if you can't, there's no trouble at all. I, all, I only want you to have a happy mind. That's all. And this is needed if you want to have one. Anyway, that's my advice. That's my story. If you feel different about it, you're completely fine to do whatever you want. But let's make the world a better place. And I'll see you.